two inmates impregnated by a transgender inmate in an all-woman's prison. Hey, it's Ricky Gantz here with G220 Ministries. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, the like button, the share button, and help get this content out. Now, I want to look at this article that comes to us from the Washington Times. Yes, the Washington Times. And in this article, it tells us here, two inmates impregnated by a transgender inmate at all women's prison in New Jersey. And this is um, a little crazy to think about this because you've got this all woman prison. And even in that, all women, all women, and yet you have men in this prison who claim to be m women, um, but biologically are not and can never uh, change the reality that they have been created. Uh, in the image of God as male and female, as he has created them male and female. But this article says, two inmates at an all-woman's prison in New Jersey are pregnant after reportedly having sex with a transgender inmate. The women are confined at the Edna Mahan Correctional Facility in Clinton, New Jersey. It is the state's only, it's the state's, it's not really the state's only, but it says it's the state's only all women's prison and is slated for closure following complaints about sexual assaults and other problems in the facility. Would you think other problems in the facility? I mean, when you say this is the only woman's all women's prison, but yet you don't have all women there. You have men who are pretending to be women claiming to be women that are in this place and able to impregnate women in this correctional facility. I mean, what, what do you think is going to happen when you put men in with women in an all-woman prison? It says um, here that uh, Dan Sparaza, a spokesman for the New Jersey Department of Corrections, told NewJersey.com that the women became pregnant after consensual, consensual sexual relations with another incarcerated uh, person. <clears throat> now, this is not the only, uh, to my knowledge, this is not the only instance. Uh, there was another article here. Let me look at this one. I think this is the other article. And it says, this is from Toronto Sun. It says, two females at a New Jersey's only all-women prison have been impregnated after having sex with a transgender inmate. Then it says, the women were identified but are housed in, at the Edna Mahain Correctional Facility in Clinton, uh, which New Jersey governor announced plans to close this year. Uh, this was consensual, but it isn't known, listen to this, it isn't known if they both had sex with the same transgender inmate or with two different inmates because it houses 27, 27 transgender prisoners in a over 800 women, according to the report. So over 800 women are housed in this prison and there's 27 transgendered prisoners. So there's 27 men with 800 women in this prison. And you think this is not a possibility to happen? This is what happens when we have been turned over to a debased mind, a reprobate mind, where we call that which is good evil and that which is evil good. And men who are men biologically and created by God to be so um, distort the truth for a lie and claim to be women. This is just uh, one story in the news. I'm sure there's plenty, plenty more. Uh, tell me, what are your thoughts on this news report.